Christian. And I'm Nicole. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Leno family. Today, we're going to be asking our parents questions that you guys are too afraid to ask your parents. Oh. Oh. So I posted oh. on our Instagram, what are some questions that you guys are too afraid to ask? And we're going to do it. Y'all ready? Okay. I'm curious how they're going to react because I, because everyone thinks our parents are like chill and they are. <laughs> but like, I don't think people understand they still care for us and they still have restrictions. Yeah, yeah we still yeah, have yeah. some boundaries. They don't just let us say anything we want. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. no. No, no. Respect, no. kids. Respect. Also, <laughs> peep Sadie. She's chilling with us. Sadie, say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, ready, guys? We're just gonna get into it. Yeah. Now let's just get into it. Question number one. How did you guys know you were in love? Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, starting off a little tame. Well, I want to hear this guy first. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? They don't know, like, who's the one. Oh. How do you know I... you're with the one? She made me laugh. Uh, so, that's a good, yeah. Yeah, she was actually That's when funny. you knew? It's me making the girl laugh, <laughs> oh, and I'm gosh. like the funny one, so. <laughs> okay, dad. But then, this one, she's actually, like, making me laugh. Oh. It's true, though. Like, everything I say, he laughs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kidding, don't put that in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Mom? Um, I want to hear this I one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was like a moment or something, mm -hmm. but it was just like a feeling. Like I knew that like no matter what, I was going to do whatever it takes to marry this guy. Like I wasn't going to let it go. I was going to fight for this one. Aww. Like on the first day? No, just in general. Oh, okay. Mom always told me that, yeah. Because when I asked her that question, she said the same thing. She's like, when you guys fight for the relationship, you're never going to think about leaving because you just want to fight for it. Like you want to be with that person. You because you just love that person. So you just know when you love that person, that's yeah. why you fight for it. Mm -hmm. And then you want to know something sweet? Oh. Sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. When we got married mm -hmm. and we were about to say yes, all I thought in my head was, like, I can't believe this is happening. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. And that was at the courts. <laughs> we didn't have a real wedding. We were at um, Santa Ana courts, and then uh, it was like my day off, and then Christian was there, and just like three or four people. I was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were young parents. Oh, we should show a picture. Like when we. Uh, oh, yeah. Got, it was very unconventional. I did not have a regular wedding dress on. It's like a little white tube dress. <laughs> and the guy that was marrying us, he was like, Oh, you want me to like wear like a, a, a priest like suit? Uh -huh. And it's like, For $50, I can make it look like I'm a priest. I was like, <laughs> Okay. And then he just puts on this little thing and it's right there. <laughs> and that was 50 bucks. <laughs> Father. How did you guys come up with our names? I came up with Christian. I right. just thought it was a very like cool name. Okay. I went through like hundreds of baby books, the name ones, and just Christian stuck out to me. Like uh -huh. I just thought it was. So you didn't call him Chris? No, I never called him Chris. Uh -huh. Yeah, we actually never called him. It's Christian. either uh, Christian or C. Yeah. yeah. Right. Chris always just felt weird to me whenever people would yeah. call him Chris. Like Christian Dior was really hot oh. back then, the label. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like really classy. It was like Christian. It's mm -hmm. biblical. It's bullshit. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's all the above. Okay. It was from a purse. Yeah. <laughs> now let's hear Nicole's special story. Oh gosh. Nicole, so the, I had a crush on uh, <laughs> this um, singer. Her name was uh, Nicole. Uh, Scher Scherzinger, right? Scherzinger. So both of us were just hot <laughs> celebrities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that deep for her. Yeah, yeah. No, she was like half Filipino and half French. Well, she still is. She was. Well, she was. Yeah. <laughs> and it rhymes with Noel too, so it's like Nicole. Nicole. Noel. Yeah, follow-up question. Wait, no. Dad, why did you put your name on both of our first names? Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. our first names actually, mine is Nicole Noel and Christian's is Christian Noel. But then so, we call you Nicole Noel. Yeah, just to make it more girly. Yeah. But Dad <laughs> decided to put his name in our names too. Uh -huh. Which was a big argument at the beginning. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did you let that slide? He like doesn't he put his foot on the ground. Is that a thing? He doesn't like... Where would you put it though? Your foot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your foot. Yeah. No, dad usually doesn't put up a fight about a lot of things, but That's he was very adamant. He's just like, these are my kids. I want them uh -huh. to have my name. And I was like, God, right. calm down. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, it wasn't like a Filipino thing, dad? No, it wasn't. It was a Noel thing. It's just a Noel Leno thing. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I was like, oh, it's my kid, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> So, so and that he did. Yeah. What's the most rebellious thing you've done growing up? 
Oh. 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 I don't know, it was stupid, and then um, I was trying to like fit in. Oh. And so um, I spray painted some words on somebody's property. Oh, wow. So, I don't think I knew that. Aren't you right? I love you. <laughs> John 316. <laughs> so, me doing that, it was just like, and you felt all guilty. <laughs> yeah. The next day, I just like kind of painted it. <laughs> I snuck out a lot. Ooh. Yeah. So, we wouldn't suggest this, okay? That's like a normal That's thing, nothing, dude. Right? Okay, but I, I snuck know. out. And then my mom put bars on my window. Jeez. And I found a way to open it. Oh, wow. And then I snuck out. Did you cut it? No, it's not that serious. I just found the key. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. I cut the bars. <laughs> yeah, damn. Wow, you're a bad every, girl. Every day. You're a baddie. <laughs> Asian bad girl? Yeah, Asian bad girl. Yeah. What do you guys think is the right age to date? A lot of people ask this question, actually. Mm. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. What's, the, right what's the age, age that popped up in your maybe. head? Maybe. Well, hold on, because answer for Christian and Nicole. Because it was different for me and you. Was it? It was like, Nicole, wait until you can find a guy. And then it was like, Christian, if you can find a girl. <laughs> <laughs> If, yeah, if we knew it was gonna take a long time. Hey, if, there's, if there's a girl who likes you, dude, go for it. Ta start talking to her or something. Nicole, this guy, just this guy needs to start early. Nicole, be picky, okay? Don't, because there are guys you like. Whatever Nicole. you can get, son. <laughs> just put yourself out there, Christian. I mean, he's not like entirely wrong. <laughs> I feel like that's common <clears> with <throat> boys, though. You yeah, know? Like, yeah. The dads are like, oh, go for it, go you know. But then here. the girls are like, they're little princess. Yeah. Yeah, they so have to be younger. Like, like, yeah. I think maybe like beginning of high school, like freshman year. What is that, 15? No, even sophomore oh, year. Now. Yeah, sophomore year for oh, her is kind of That's... when she started I know, know what age is it? talking to guys. Yeah, getting interested and stuff like that, but we were still cautious for her at freshman. that age. Oh yeah, don't be yeah. freshman. What was it like when you found out mom was pregnant? Oh. <laughs> That was There's a, a follow-up question that's real specific for mom. That's a shocker. <laughs> it's what was it like going through labor? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So this is like for both of you, you know? When mom was pregnant, how was it when you were holding a child in you? And then how was it dealing with mom with a child in her? Just keep in mind they were really young. Yeah. yeah. I was 20. And I was what? 20 23? Plus, plus 20, four, honey. 20, 24. 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just started working and then I was just graduated from college and then But do you remember that day? You can't, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew we were like napping me. or something, and then like I got up and I just went oh. to Target and I got a test. That I just good. knew, and then you had a feeling. I had a feeling, and Hello. then I remember being so <laughs> stressed out. <laughs> I, I just remember being stressed out because I I just knew it was gonna be positive, and then mm. when I found out, I wasn't like freaked out or anything. I was fine. Mm. I think when she told me it was just like just a shock and it's like <laughs> what's going on? And it was like just all anxiety just came in. They started worrying, like catastrophizing. Well, and then mind you, both Shut of us are still in college. Uh, he has like ten dollars to the name. We're still living at our parents' house. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. We haven't started a life yet. Right. This is a yeah, this is like my mom's twenty, I'm twenty. Yeah, it was a scary it was a shocker. Feeling? It was scary, yeah. Yeah. I mean I'd be terrified at that age. Yeah. yeah. But there was this one moment where it gave dad clarity though that like it was mm -hmm. this was supposed to happen right mm -hmm. oh yeah i think we went to church there was a message with the church the sermon, the sermon. Oh, it was about everything's gonna be okay and yeah. it was very That's specific crazy. about like you know babies are a gift and just know that like you're supposed to god is giving you a gift like you right. have to look at it that way yeah and it's then, supposed to happen yeah. when it's, it's supposed to happen then he accepted and then it, it <laughs> <laughs> i was like Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then what was it like when you were pregnant? Like that. I didn't like being pregnant. Oh. It was annoying. But everybody takes care of you when you're pregnant. It's always mm -hmm. like everyone's opening the door. Are you hungry? You're making you food? And well, this she and was the first one too out yeah. of all the families. Everyone yes. takes care of you up to the point when you actually have the baby. Right. And then when you have the baby, it's like, Good luck. <laughs> no, no, like they don't, no one's making you food anymore. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I had pretty good labor, so. It was quick for mm -hmm. both of us, right? I enjoyed the labor part more than the pregnancy part. Hmm. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Don't come for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, did you have to like. I was the her pregnancy? Run out and get her, her cravings. Cream yeah, just whatever she wants. Then, I don't know what you were craving. I forgot. Did you crave? Everything strawberry with uh, Christian. Oh, really? I would yeah. eat like strawberry mochi, strawberry ice cream. Ooh, that's yeah. so good. And then whole longanisas. Yeah. With no <laughs> rice. That sounds just, so good. I'll just eat the sausage. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yum. What about with me? What was your cravings with me? I don't, nothing. I don't think I had cravings with you. Okay. <laughs> Just everything and anything. You gave me back pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she, was, she was a big one. Oh my gosh, guys. She was. Put a picture up. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Compared to me. 
scared to me. Yeah. <laughs> she came out, her eyes couldn't even open because there was so much fat. <laughs> How do you make your marriage last? Oh. Oh. What's the secret to marriage? Oh, oh it's a hard one. So. <laughs> Honestly, oh, yeah. it's like not giving up. Both of you knowing that obviously, if you're both aware that something's not right, no matter what, you're gonna get, get to a better place. You don't know how you're gonna get there yet, but you both want to, mm -hmm. right. and that's like half the battle. But knowing that you do want to work to get to that better place, mm -hmm. if you're on that page, then you're in a good spot. Because whether it's going to therapy, whether it's sitting on Fridays talking about whether it's this and that, you know that you're gonna get there because you wanna get there. Right. A matter of how, you don't know yet, but that's the goal. Both parties have to be like willing to work on it. Mm -hmm. Me, it's just like make each other laugh, so that's what I like. <laughs> Always go back to the jokes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna laugh at you when I'm mad at you. You're like the most unfunniest person when I'm mad at wow. you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that funny either. <laughs> <laughs> He's all butter. Yeah. When you have your attitude. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Do you guys regret having kids? <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's why we started a family uh, yeah. <laughs> There are times. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, <laughs> I am curious though, if you could, would you have, it was the same outcome, but just like five years later or even three years later? No, because. <laughs> if you look back now, the timing was perfect. I don't know. Mm, yeah. yeah, if you yeah. look back now, yeah. yeah. I mean, when you're at that moment, when it happened, yeah, I would, I wish it was like five years later because you know, I was trying to get my career going on and then just gonna get you know, trying stable. to get rid of yeah, more get stable. A new car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. I feel like that's with a lot of things. Like in the moment, it seems like the worst thing ever, but right. you'll realize it happened for a reason. It was supposed to be that way. Right, when 100%. you look back, it's like, I mean, looking back now, it's just like, all right, yeah. Look how far we've gone. Yeah. yeah. Like it's so crazy. It's like 23 years later. Yeah. Two kids that like we just absolutely adore. Uh -huh. It's like it just like worked out. I don't know how, but right. but it did. It yes, did. Yes. <laughs> no, because if you have them later, then then they won't move out till later. <laughs> 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 So, yeah, we're, we're almost there. We're yeah, almost there. We're almost there. Like, they're almost 18. They're almost out of the house. How should kids tell their parents about having a boyfriend or girlfriend? I can't say for every kid because every kid's yeah. relationship is different from their parents. Right. But I know for myself that I would rather you guys just tell me and rip the band-aid off. Even if I don't <laughs> approve of the guy, I'd rather know than not. They're gonna do it anyways. You know, at least they won't be sneaking around and they can mm. just like tell you. But then for them, they always tell us what's going on anyway. Like, oh, I'm interested in this girl. I'm Now I'm going out to dinner. Oh, we're going to the gym together. It's like, oh, okay, something's going on because yeah, we're that, hanging right. out together a lot. <laughs> And all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, now we're both we're boyfriend and girlfriend. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we knew that already because we already know what was kind of going on and, yeah. and it's going towards that. So. And plus, it's hard to hide in this family because we hang out a lot. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like, where are you going? You know. I guess in the situation where the kid doesn't really talk to the parents yeah, too much, I, think that's what it I feel like I can't say for all parents, but most parents would just want that respect of hearing it from them opposed to hearing it from finding someone else some, or yeah, finding yeah, out. Yeah. I feel like it's just out of respect. Uh, yeah, I just. Try to be transparent with them, like just sit down and just tell them. But if you have a good relationship with your parents, I encourage you to right. communicate and, and tell so them. They yeah. just want you to be honest. And yeah. they want it. They most likely want to know what's going on in your life. So Yeah, and parents, if you do want to know and you want your child to let you in in terms of that part of their lives, just try to let them feel welcome to talking yeah, to you. Yeah, make it comfortable yeah. for them. Like they'll tell you mm -hmm. stuff. Like that was the easiest thing. I felt like telling things to mom and dad was so easy because right. they made like, it that way. It yeah. was just like we went to them because we needed help with it in our life, not because we were gonna get in trouble or we were admitting guilt. Or I mean, don't get us wrong. We have reactions and sometimes they're really strong reactions. <laughs> like we will, you know, the yeah. volcano will erupt and then after it settles, right. then we'll reconnect again and be like, okay, well, the shock of it was over. Mm. Let's, let's talk yeah. now about I think sometimes yeah. for me, like it might be a little scary telling them some things, but then I know in the end, even if they have a reaction, like eventually we're gonna get to a place where we can just talk about it comfortably and like really figure out if it's a problem or not. Yeah. It's just, yeah, just the line of communication, it's always there, so. Moral yeah. of the story, rip the bandaid. <laughs> do you guys think you're always right? <laughs> No, absolutely not. I doubt myself all the time. Why do some parents think they're always right? Because they've experienced certain things. Mm -hmm. They've experienced through it already. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's, it's not just we're thinking we're right. We see the path that the kid is going to, and we already know <laughs> what's gonna happen. 
No, but then human nature is always be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna try it out myself and see and learn from my own mistakes. My, my parents did this to me, you know, it's like, I wanna go a certain path, I wanna do something, but then, you know, they'll tell me, okay, you can't do that because we already know because we kind of went through that path already. Mm -hmm. I think we just Some try to like share our experiences right. to mm -hmm. the best of our knowledge. Yeah. It's like we always wanna learn from your guys' mistakes and hear you guys out. We obviously know that you guys have to learn your own mistakes. Mm -hmm. We just don't want the mistake to really derail too much from your life. Like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? We understand that you're gonna have to do some things, try some things, fail, <clears throat> and before you can succeed. That's life in general. But we yeah. just don't wanna derail it to the point where it's the point of no return. And all we can do is advise, but mm -hmm. we can't control, right? And I think that's why we have such great parents. How was your high school experience? Mine was terrible. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, mine was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. that's the thing. I feel like uh -huh. so many different people have different experiences right. in high school. I used to be in like student council and do all those fun things like dances and what Nicole's doing now. So that's fun. I was always an organizer. I remember that part being fun, drama club being a little fun. But then I remember a lot of the trying to fit in, not belonging, the bullying, the high school things, the, the gossiping, the backstabbing. You know, I'm your friend one moment, I'm not your next. So Especially. I experienced all of that. That's what I remember majority of high school, like just people being super nice to you and then all of a sudden they hear something from somebody else, which it wasn't true, and then completely they completely turn on you. That's what I remember about high school. Mm. Right, right, right. You know, there's some difficulties at times, but then um, for the most part, it was good. I had a set of friends that I grew up with. We kind of just like stuck together, you know, if we had... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, st st stuck, <laughs> stuck, stuck together. <laughs> Double O. We, you had like a good group to like get you through high school with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So we're just like, and we all grew up together. Stuk through it. Stuk through it. <laughs> yeah, we stuck together. So. Well, I'm still going through yeah, it, still. and I feel like I don't have a lot to compare it to because I'm still in it. I feel like I've had a lot of good moments, but there were also a lot of bad moments. Like my mom was saying, like the gossiping or like the backstabbing. Like I've been through all of that, and I think right now, senior year, I'm just trying to focus on me and like the people that I actually enjoy my company with. Because it's true, when you have a good group of friends to get through high school with it's so much more enjoyable right, and like yeah. you can actually just not worry about what everyone else is thinking because I think about high school that's when everyone's like discovering themselves right like going through your interests or going around different groups of friends just figuring out who you want to be around yeah. and who you want to be in general I don't know yeah. yeah so it's just like like high school I learned about who I was I feel yeah. as though and going through it, it was like I, I didn't regret anything in high school mm. there were good times bad times a lot of learning experiences got yeah. to meet a lot of nice people you know got to learn about the people that I want to avoid in life or yeah. just prepare how to deal with those types of people. Right. I learned a lot, but I'm very happy that I'm out. I mean, it's cool, the whole social experience, because it does socialize you. You know, COVID taught us all that we need yeah. to be talking to people every single day to yeah. keep ourselves yeah. mentally sane. We know who it's we hard, don't yeah. want to hang out with. It's not like nice going through a bad high school experience, but it kind of is because it no, sets it you up for the rest of your life. All the experiences, yeah. all your bad ones are good. Yeah, it's not like you're yeah. going to end all the bad experiences in high school. Like, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. What would happen if we became teen parents? Oh. Are you guys telling us something right now? <laughs> I'm trying it. Yeah. Well, hell no! Well, if Nicole had a kid right now, I would jump off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and into the pool! <laughs> Out of joy! We got grandkids! I'm gonna go in the cold water! Oh, yeah! Okay, like at your age right now, Christian, I think he'll be okay. Uh, Nicole, not right now. <laughs> What happened to me when we got pregnant, I think it'll be a shocker, but then mm -hmm. somehow we just need to like work it out and figure out what to do after that. It's just gonna yeah. be. See, my thing is, it's partially age, but it's partially the person the they're right, with too. It has to be the right person. So I wanna say 75% the person and then 25% the age. So yeah, I if know Nicole definitely right now. <laughs> Yeah, well, Nicole's just a no right now, age or anything right now. It would just be like, um, well, she's not with anybody, so it would be really bad if she got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With Christian, it's kind of scary. You just I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. <laughs> because I think... <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I want it. I'm just saying if it happened, it wouldn't be it's like the end, of the, world. the end of the world. Yeah. It'd be the start of a new one. Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna be an aunt. <laughs> I am not ready to take care of another kid. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they are almost gone, and you bring another one in here. <laughs> Just saying, if God chose to bring chose another one in to do it, and it has to be a blessing. <laughs> it has to be a blessing. Yeah. 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 I feel like if in the same case, if Nicole was my age with the right person, I think just in general, both of we us, we wouldn't freak out. As, uh, we wouldn't as because much. we we'd know like work it out together. We know how strong we are as a family, and we know we'd be able yeah. to make it. Yeah, with life. people that were just like no nos, then we would be terrified. Concerned, yeah. We'd be yeah. like, okay, Very well, concerned. how do you that feel about sense. being single parents? Oof. Which is all good, nice. but you know, yeah, like we'll I'm just questions. saying. Okay, well, that was the last question. Hopefully, we answered some of the questions. You guys are too afraid to ask your parents. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to join the Lena family. Come back next Sunday at noon. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. You know what you need? You need pants. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> It's because your legs are just out.